hello everyone uh, in this video we are going to create a lan which can which contains four pcs and one hub okay so first of all let's create four pcs click on end devices click on pc and place four four pcs okay uh, let's rename them a uh, b c and finally d okay now we have to place a hub okay so for that click on network devices select the subcategory of hubs and select this pt hub okay and place it on workspace so let's rename this hub one to just hub now we need to connect all the four pieces to this hub so for connecting a PC and a hub, we need to use straight through cable because they are not similar devices. So PC and hub are different devices. So we need to use a straight through cable. So click on cables. This is the straight through cable. Okay, select it. Uh, select a system. Let's say A. Uh, select fast Ethernet and click on the hub. And so you can select any one of these ports. So I am selecting fast Ethernet zero so repeat the same process for remaining pcs also fast ethernet zero fast ethernet one and third pc fast ethernet zero fast ethernet two and pcd fast ethernet zero fast ethernet three now we have successfully connected all the four pieces to the four pcs to the hub okay right so this hub it is a layer one device okay so hub is a layer one device uh, layer one i mean layer one in the osa model okay in osa model we have seven layers and the layer one is physical layer so examples of physical layer devices are one is hub uh, another one is repeater and one more is modem okay all these are examples of layer one devices so now if you want to communicate, I mean establish communication between one system to another systems in this LAN, you need to assign IP addresses. So let's assign IP address, click on a PC, select desktop, select IP configuration and assign a private address, private IP address. So 192.168.1.1. Do the same thing with other PCs also, desktop, IP configuration, 192.168.1.2. So you should be careful the, when assigning IP addresses, uh, that is no two systems should have the same IP address, 1.3. IP addresses should be unique, okay. IP configuration, 192.168.1.2. Four. Okay, so we have successfully uh, configured all the PCs with IP addresses. Now, if you want to check whether you can communicate from one system to another system, just click on a system. For example, I am clicking on PCA. I uh, open command prompt. So this is like a traditional command prompt on a window system, the black window. Now to check whether uh, this PCA can communicate with PCC, I can use a command called ping, P-I-N-G, ping, okay, followed by the destination or target's IP address. So I want to check whether it can communicate with system C, so I will give the IP address of system C, 192.168.1.3, and hit enter. Now you can see, so here you can see there are total of four packets sent to system C and the system C has replied again back with four packets. So loss is zero. So system A has successfully sent four packets and it again received four replies from system C. So you can use this ping command to test whether a particular system can communicate with another system. Okay, right. Now let's go to simulation mode. Uh, 
okay and make sure that the filter uh, selected is icmp right now click on add pdu mm, select the source as system a and select the destination as maybe system d right so at the bottom you can see uh, source is system a and destination is system d and the type of data we are sending is icmp so icmp is a protocol internet control message protocol so earlier i have used the command ping right ping ping command in the command prompt so actually ping belongs to this protocol icmp protocol so when we are using this pdu we are actually sending a ping ping command okay so now let's start the simulation so first step okay data is going from a to hub now see what happens when i click next so i am clicking on next ah now you have seen the behavior right so what is the thing with hub is whenever the hub receives some data from one system it will send it will send the data same data to all other systems so in this case the other systems are b c and d now you can see cross marks here at b and c right you are seeing those cross marks because uh, a actually wanted to send the data to d since b and c are not the destination that is d they are ignoring the packet okay they are discarding or ignoring the packet right okay now i am clicking next now see d is sending back reply and it is going to hub now when i again click next you can see the same behavior hub is forwarding again to all the remaining systems so in this case remaining systems are a b and c again b and c are discarding the packet because it is not addressed for them it is addressed to a okay now you are seeing check mark here and the transmission is complete okay so the thing you have to remember here is whenever you are creating a lan using a hub whatever uh, data is being sent across the systems the same data will be sent to all other systems in the lan okay right so this is how a this is how you create a lan using a hub so that's it for this video thank you